Hello again. Uh, new toys. Yes. Let's see what we got here. This should uh, this should be a small oscilloscope. I'm talking about DCO138 Pro from F Mercy. And there we are, good people. I'm not sure, but I think I ordered the non-battery version. Oh yes, look at this guy. It's so cute. What we got here? Oscilloscope itself. We have some instructions in, uh, in Chinese, instructions in English. Quality pass. It's made by the FNIRC. F-N-I-R-S-I. And this model, it's USB powered. We have 2.5 mega samples per second, 200 kilohertz bandwidth, verticals and CVT down to 5 millivolts, more than enough. Horizontal base, 10 microseconds. On uh, X1, we can measure 40 volts or peak to peak 80. And with 10, we can measure 400 volts. AC, DC. Well, almost the same stuff like 138, you know, the do-it-yourself kit I had before. So, like I said, this is non-battery model. Any difference? Do we have a connector for batteries? Cause I have some batteries. Maybe I can attach that to the oscilloscope in there somewhere. A very small half meter or something, USB cable. All right, USB-C, clever. I can use my power supply and probably here, power on. Yes, what I can say, the display, it's pretty dim. It's not a touch display, uh, probably to measure the internal signal generator. It don't want to work anymore. Hmm, funny, that's probably from my power supply. Okay, let's try this one, five volt instructional. The screen is 2.4 inch, 320 on 240 resolution. The buttons here, number one is the BNC probe interface. Number two on the side, on the right side, it's a reset button. Three, it's type C interface. We got it. On off switch, very fragile, I may say. And five, all the function buttons up here. Auto. It's doing, you know, with a short press, it's doing an automatic adjustment. Frequency below 20 Hz cannot be calibrated correctly. Okay. A long press, enter automatic calibration confirmation interface, press the OK button. After that, we have change, short press, long press, and add, change movement. Yeah, you know, the necessary commands for an oscilloscope. Now, but where do we have the signal sent? Okay, one from 80 kilohertz. Well, I don't understand. Ground, clock, send, 3.3 volts. Well, this is funny. That's interesting. So there is a signal generator, but it needs, so we need to attach this to have the output signals. This needs to be soldered on kind of tricky because it's under the display. Let's see. Can we have a 80 kilohertz here? Yes, we have. There we go. So we have a peak to peak 3.5 volts, 1.000 kilohertz. So that's one kilohertz there. Duty cycle and so on. Yeah, it's working on auto. Very nice. Well, so we have two pins with the signal here and two pins with the ground. I don't like this connector. You see, it's right behind the screen, the LCD screen. So it needs really careful positioning. This can hurt this uh, ribbon cable. All right, let's do that. We got four screws here. So this is only a display cover. The display is down here. Oh, I don't like this, so fragile. We can disconnect it by having this tongue up. You see something? I want to see what is happening under. 
So I will. And that's it. Look here, my dear people. Very nice. And we have a connector here, a battery plus and minus. Okay. And here we should have a circuit. Obviously, we don't have it, but. I'll try to check the internet to see what's missing here because it's missing a coil it's missing. We have the circuit, I don't know which one, but I can probably use which got destroyed by the way. So this is the connector for the battery. This one here, I can use that right there in place. And I suppose this is the charging missing circuit okay later for now i just want to have this connect proper like this no that's the positioning so this is for signal out yeah i can use that uh my soldiering iron come on yes very nice yeah and to be sure that nothing happens there i can cut this tips beautiful okay. yeah that should be fine uh, now as long as I'm here let me see if I can transfer that connector for the battery and let's give a try so this should go out from this board like that and I will plant it in here like perfect from there we got a connector now so we have this circuit here and another oh here is a resistor I think this is a diode here and that should be a coil absolutely yes this is a buck converter I think this is a coil L702. I have to check that, but first of all, I'm not confident, but I have to try this. Let me see the battery is working because if it's working like this, I don't mind. I can charge it externally or with my charger. Is that a plus minus? Okay, any chance? No, absolutely, because it's a bug converter. So I need to check about that. Uh, uh, that circuit. Now, what I'm curious is, what about this display here? Is it fitting in here? Do what do you think? Anyway, this one is ruined, so I don't know. I can see a ribbon. It should be better to have a display like that. No. Okay, that's enough for today. Let me clean this LCD. Okay, pretty okay. Now let's put the things together. Yeah, so people, these are, this is very fragile. Do we have a problem here? No. If you want to take the display cover, you need to unscrew it first. I see the plastic, it's somehow behind the screws. The protection, the protection, this one, this piece of plastic. Okay, power. Yeah, well, it's booting very fast. This is true. And the signal is present, very nice. So we don't need any calibration for this kind of probes. Let me check some other signals. It can be used like a function generator. Let's see. So we have, uh, let's go down to 100 hertz, let's say. Nothing. How comes? Yeah. Now we are connected. You see? So we have a 100 hertz. It's not so square. If we can see it better like that, of course we can. 100, obviously 100 hertz 250 yes it's counting very nice let's put it on auto good 
439 perfect 1 kilohertz here we can change the time 100 nanoseconds manually ACDC coupling press ok to start calibration hold down auto to cancel the exit ok calibration let's do that ok I can hear a relay there is a relay inside there nice now we should see if it changed the the waveform yeah it's looking much better of course what have I done it's not it's not counting anymore reset oh it's doing a continuous okay uh, say toggle continuous move add short press move change add where is it add? all right so what's happening here is my little guy here with problems yeah of course we are on a very high frequency hmm I didn't I didn't realize that so this is one kilohertz of course yeah one kilohertz sorry I was wrong here 2.5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz 10 25 very good 50 100 100 250 so that should be the maximum yeah it's not counting more than <laughs> yeah this is a square wave so uh, it's difficult that's true but we can see 153 that's okay what about the peak to peak voltage oh it's pretty steady 5.5 at 2 at 5 kilohertz if we go up to 153 5.3 yeah it's workable all right that's a lot of uh, understanding this little guy but it have all all the whistles you know and all the commands for a working oscilloscope it will be really nice for audio especially that's why i bought it to have uh, audio adjustments and stuff like this and uh, you know I have to learn it first time, <laughs> all these buttons and all these things. Thank you for now. I'll be back with news. Very nice toy. I'm really glad about. Please like, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to write. See you soon. Bye bye.